Welcome to my YouTube channel, a binary of seven. Today I am going to solve the third assignment of Geotechnical Engineering two. And the first two assignments, some of the questions were gone wrong because of this busy schedule. So in this assignment, I think I have given most of the questions were correct. So let's start. The ballast laid below the railway track would take care of the primary settlement, secondary settlement, immediate settlement, and the creek. So, obviously, the ballast laid below the railway track will take care of immediate settlement. Immediate settlement is occurred because of if the soil is partially saturated. Partially saturated soil means the voids are filled with air as well as water. So the air will come out very easily. That is compression of pore air. That is air which is present in the pores. And expulsion of air. So these two will occur in immediate settlement and this immediate settlement can be calculated by elastic theory okay so the answer for question number one is c next question in an in-situ vein shear test so the test here it is vein shear test on a saturated clay. The torque required to shear the sample T is equal to 35 Newton meter and if the diameter of the vein D is equal to 50 mm and length L is equal to length I am taking it is height it is 100 mm. So then compute undrained shear strength of the clay. So that is we have a formula undrained shear strength tau f is equal to t divided by pi d square h by 2 plus d by 6. So what is t here? 35 Newton meter. So Newton mm because all the remaining parameters are substituted in millimeters. So into 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm that is Newton mm divided by pi d square is 50 square h by 2 is 100 by 2 plus d by 6 is 50 by 6. You will get it is 0 0.076 newton per mm square. If you will get converted this into kilo newton per meter square 76.39 kilo newton per meter square. So the answer C for question number 2. Next question. What is the sensitivity of clay? If the torque required to shear the sample in the remolded state. So, T required in remolded state is 5 Newton meter. And T required in undisturbed state. It is it has been given in the earlier problem as 35 newton meter okay so that is 35 newton meter so now sensitivity sensitivity yes t is equal to we have one definition unconfined compressive stress or unconfined compressive strength in undisturbed state divided by unconfined compressive strength in remolded state. That strength is directly proportional to T. We can also define sensitivity as T required in remolded state. Sorry. T required in undisturbed state divided by T required in remolded state. Or shear strength, unconfined compressive strength in undisturbed state divided by 
unconfined compressive strength in remolded state clear because from the formula you can see this tau is directly proportional to t tau 1 by tau 2 is same as t1 by t2 so now this is in the undisturbed state it is 35 in the remolded state it is 5 answer will be 7 for question number 3 option b coming to next question determine shear strength in terms of effective stresses on a plane with a saturated soil mass at a point where the total normal stress that is total normal stress is 200 kilo newton per meter square and pore water pressure is 80 so from this we will get effective stress as 200 minus 80 that is 120 kilo newton per meter square the effective shear strength parameters are c dash effective means i will consider it is a dash c dash 16 and pi dash or 30 degree centigrade so we want to calculate shear strength shear strength tau f is equal to c dash plus sigma bar tan phi dash so c dash is equal to 16 plus sigma bar is 120 into tan 30 so you will get this value as 85.28 kilo newton per meter square clear so next question the initial correction that is to be applied in tau versus axial strain so this curve we will get like this so this the way the reasons to get the curve like this what are the reasons so the reasons are first one is poor contact between the sample and the loading plane so that is whenever we apply loading plate over the sample the complete 100 percent a 100 percent area will not be in touch with load plate and the sample okay because of this reason as well as the roughness of the sample and the loading plate roughness of the sample and the loading plate so by these two reasons there is some inclination the curve we will get like this so that is poor contact and roughness so this is also multiple answer question next question creep is the time dependent deformation of the soil mass at constant stress obviously the definition of creep is itself creep is time dependent deformation of soil mass at constant stress so this is a true statement and if we draw a graph between tau and sigma that is shear stress and normal stress that is the graphs remain constant with the change in the density so the, this is a failure envelope we will get so this is not a straight line or it is a linear line the slope of this line will keep on changes it will depend upon the density of the soil mass as well so it will depends on density that is whenever there is a change in the density this graph will also changes so it is a false statement next question which of the following are attributes of granularity the attributes of granularity are angularity and roundness and sphericity sphericity so these three are the attributes of granularity okay depending upon the particle whether it is angular or not angular whether the particle is rounded or not rounded whether the particle are in particles are in shape of spherical or not so by knowing all these three parameters we can able to uh, give some inf give some information regarding granularity of the particle so 
these three are the options this is a multiple answer question for question number 8 coming to question number 9 for a sensitivity value in the range of 8 to 16 what will be the description obviously sensitivity is the ratio of unconfined compressive stress in undisturbed soil to the remolded soil or i have given one more one more information like sensitivity is the ratio of torque required to shear the sample in undisturbed state to the torque required to disturb the sample in remolded state okay so if we will get to some ranges so sensitivity value and a description if sensitivity value is equal to 1 the description we say the sample is insensitive if the sensitivity value is 2 to 4 it is normal if it is ranging from 4 to 8 it is sensitive if it is ranging from 8 to 16 it is extra sensitive if it is greater than 16 it is quick sensitive so but for us the range given is 8 to 16 it is extra sensitive for question number 9 the answer is b so very important conceptual question there are two questions in this type so what are the test required for marine clay when oil platform is placed what kind of test will be recommended for re designing an oil platform over marine clay deposit so this is oil platform and it is a marine clay so marine clay is under consolidated soil so that is under consolidated means it is a eng soil or an eng clay so for this we will not allow any drainage or any consolidation so u u test that is unconsolidated and undrained test will be preferred clear so the answer for question number 10 is c similarly whenever stiff clay is there over this there is an embankment so for this stiff clay is already consolidated that is over consolidated so for this cu consolidated undrained test will be consolidated undrained test will be performed so for oil platform over marine clay uu test will be performed for embankment over stiff clay cu test will be performed so the answer c for question number 10 and which of the following is correct relationship for determination of immediate settlement obviously immediate settlement s i we have a formula q b1 minus u square into i b divided by e yes where q is equal to uniform pressure very important at which level at the base of the footing and b is equal to width of footing and mu is equal to poisson's ratio and es is equal to eng's modulus of soil and ib is equal to influence factor which depends on l by b ratio clear so the most important formula qb into 1 minus mu square into ib divided by e suffix s yes. so it is the formula required to uh, used in calculation of immediate settlement clear and obviously the immediate settlement can be calculated by using elastic theory so these are all the solutions and answers for 
थर्ड असाइनमेंट ऑफ जियो टेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग टू कोर्स थैंक यू